Here's how you can make your video more entertaining by creating a picture-in-picture -picture layout with Clipchamp. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor to get creating. The first thing you'll need to do is import your video clips. Do this by heading over to the import media button, selecting the assets and hitting open. They'll then load into your media library over here. Now you'll add the video you want as the background content straight into your timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. Then for the video you'd like to layer as the picture in picture, drag and drop it into the timeline, making sure to place it on top of that main video asset. Now the videos are in the timeline. To make your video an overlay, click on that top asset in your timeline and it will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Again, this is going to be your picture in picture video. Then you'll navigate up to the floating toolbar in the video preview, click on the see more option and then select the picture in picture button. Now you can choose where you'd like your video overlay to appear on the screen by either selecting top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right. If you do want it placed somewhere else on the video, over in the video preview, use the freehand tool to move the asset anywhere on the screen, just like this. Then by dragging the corners, you can change the size of the asset until you're completely happy. Now I'll just hit playback and you can see the picture in picture video will look something like this. This last step is completely optional, but you can add a filter to your overlay or your background video to change the video's aesthetic. Just click on the asset you want to edit in the timeline, navigate over to the property panel and click into the filters tab. Now you can preview each filter by simply hovering over it. And then when you found the one that you want to use, simply click on it to action the adjustment. Adjust the intensity of that filter by dragging the intensity slider either left or right. Now over here in the adjust colors tab in the property panel, you can also adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation, and transparency of the asset until you're happy with the look. Hit the reset button if you'd like it to go back to its original state, and you can also do this for the other asset by following the same steps. Once you're completely happy with your video and all of your edits are complete, you can go ahead and export it by heading to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can create a picture in picture video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.